Hello and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate it. In this video, we'll be taking this Primaris Intercessor and turning it into a member of the Raptors chapter. Also, PSA. I know I haven't posted a video in like 10 months, but uh, cut me some slack, okay? Okay, starting off, for all my raptors I like to remove the aquila, that way I can attach pouches and grenades and anything else that might look tech cool. You're just going to go ahead and take your hobby knife and start cutting away the majority of the aquila. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and use the flat of your blade to smooth everything out. Once you get it cleaned off, it should look something like this. My next step is I usually like to add battle damage to all my raptors. I uh, give them a little grizzled, battle worn, like they're in the middle of the fight kind of look. Uh, so I'm just going to do that by using these small drill bits that I have. Uh, actually, I'll link those below. Uh, you get them off Amazon. They're really cheap. Uh, and a hobby knife. Now you're going to see a little bit later on, I actually changed the body of the Space Marine. I don't really like this pose, uh, especially because I gave him cross rifles. And you might have seen the Death Watch shoulder pad. I was going to use that to make him look like a Death Watch veteran. but. Honestly, I didn't really like it, so I just kind of swapped it out, but uh, you can follow, pretty much follow this process all the way through, and you'll get the same results pretty much on anything. Once I'm done with the battle damage, I usually take a little bit of the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, I dip it in there, that way it melts all those little bits of plastic, that way I'm not worried about them getting in my paint job or anything like that. Now with the body of the marine complete, it's time to go ahead and make him a really tactical rifle. Uh, for this I'm going to be adding him a couple different scopes and a suppressor. I start out by clipping off that little bayonet lug that's down there on the bottom. And the uh, I think it's part of the little gas piston system they use. Uh, I, use I clip that off and then I go ahead and I square up the barrel to make it a little bit smaller because the plastic tube that I use uh, is really tight if you try to put it over the barrel without trimming it first.
Now I go ahead and grab my plastic card rod. I don't remember the exact measurement of this. I bought it a while back. I actually filmed this video like nine months ago. Uh, yeah, so you can thank me for being lazy for that, but I'm pretty sure it's three millimeter plastic tube. I go ahead and I cut it to length I want. I want kind of a shorter to medium length suppressor for this guy. But you're just gonna go ahead and use a little hobby saw. You can use a knife, whatever you have. Just cut it off, try to make it flush. Now with the flush, I go ahead and take out a small piece of plastic card. I put a drop of super glue on it, and then I'm just going to take the little uh, piece of styrene, like piping. I'm going to press it down on there. That way, I get a nice little end cap for my suppressor. Once that's dry, I give it a nice little trim with my clippers, and then go ahead and clean it up with that same pile I used earlier. Next we're going to take this scope from the, I believe it's the Primaris Infiltrators kit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clip off the little magazine and everything there. Uh, and you're going to have to trim it up nice and smooth, that way you can get a nice solid contact point whenever you're gluing it onto the rifle itself. You're also going to want to have to check the bolter to see the fit. I ended up having to trim back this top edge and this little side prong that sticks out on the bolter. Once you get that cut off, you should be able to glue it on with no problem. Now with the rifle on there, we can go ahead and attach it to the body and get to the fun part, adding all the little bits and pouches and grenades and whatever else you like. Uh, starting off, I'm using this guy for a kill team. I actually used it at LVO, so if you're at LVO and you played the kill team and you played like a, a dude with raptors, it was, uh, it was probably me. I was running an intercession team. Um, for this guy, I'm giving him a power weapon because you can take an auto bolter and power weapon and kill team for the intercession sergeant. Uh, it's actually... If if you ask me, it's the best build in the in the intercession team for a sergeant. Like, that's just my personal choice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but other than that, I just use some super glue to get that on because the contact point's kind of small. Uh, and then for everything else, I either use super glue or plastic cement. It doesn't really matter. At this point, it's your personal preference. Uh, if you need bits like this, I'll link some shops down below that you can get bits off of eBay. I know there's a couple people who knows Attic, he has really good stuff, uh, and a couple other, I can't think of the names right away, but they'll be down there in the description below. Uh, not sponsored by any of them, I just buy a lot of their stuff, so you know, if you like the stuff that I do, you should probably buy some of their stuff too. And uh, 
let them know I sent you because I would really, really, really like it if they sent me a lot of free bits. That would, that would be really nice. Now with all the bits and his bolter complete, let's uh, let's just admire the beauty of this guy in good old plastic. Uh, but since I went to LVO, I actually painted my entire team. That way I could get some uh, extra VP. It didn't help at all. I think I placed like 77th. Uh, that's because I also dodged the last three games. But you know, you win some, you lose some. But while we're here, let's go ahead and check this guy out when he's painted as well. Again, I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are feeling gracious, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. At that point, I'll be doing a couple giveaways. Uh, maybe one or two on my Instagram and then one on here. As well as I'll probably do one on the members channel. So if anyone wants to be a member and have a possibility of winning something, uh, I'll probably be giving away something. Also, I've become a little bit more confident with my painting and modeling abilities. So I'm actually, if you check out my Instagram, it says taking commissions or commissions open. So I'm actually doing that now. So if that's something you're interested in uh, and you see some of my work and you really like it and you want some stuff with me, just message me on Instagram and uh, we can talk it out. Uh, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it.